Last year, I took a Bruff Superior to Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah. Do you have a record? Oh. <laughs> this year, I've got a new challenge. What have you got there? I'm going back to Bonneville to break a second land speed record on this 1944 Triumph 3HW, and Pete the Restorer is going to come with me. What do you think? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. But when we tested the 3HW, we hit a snag. I got up to 55 and then it suddenly sort of died. We're 30, 35 miles an hour off the pace. Yeah. The only solution was a drastic one. I think I'm probably going to have to bite the bullet on actually building a bike. First up, I went to Frame Builders Matisse to get a frame made for my new bike. I've, I've understood that I'm in for quite a shed full of money, but I'll tell you what, what a great way to spend it. But a frame on its own is not going to break any records. It needs an engine and a gearbox. So I've travelled down to Red Ruth in Cornwall. This is one of the quaintest towns in the southwest of England, but I haven't come here for a cream tea. Red Ruth is home to the great Sam Lovegrove, a bearded, self-confessed hippie who happens to be one of the best vintage bike builders in the world and an ace engine tuner. I want him to rebuild my vintage Triumph engine. Sam! Hello! Welcome to the door, man. Oh. Oh, what have you got there? What do you think I've got? Your lawnmower? Well, something like that. Where do you want it? Stick it on here. Last year, Sam hand-built the Bruff Superior that I took to Bonneville and even came with me to hold my hand. Last time we were on the salt, I was standing there to perhaps get on the bike and I'm absolutely terrified doing my first run. He goes, just imagine you're going to the shops, mate. Just go and buy me some Jaffa cakes. <laughs> Something like that, wasn't it? Came back without them. Mm. Uh, but we did get the record. Happy <laughs> days. He's the kind of guy whose ideal Christmas present is a ten-volume definitive history of magnetos. What is he going to make of this, though? What do you reckon? First impressions? Oh, it looks heavy. Yeah, it feels heavy. Looks agricultural. It is agricultural. But, obviously, as you know, that's what we've got to play with. Yeah. Well, we'll take it apart and have a look, see what it looks like. As Sam starts to take it apart, he comes up with a list of all the expensive, time-consuming things that he's going to do to make the engine sing and my bank manager weep. It's thrown away. That piston, I think. Take some of the material out of the iron and open these ports up a bit bigger. Racing Magneto, probably one a little bit newer than this. Right. And it'll mount on the platform. The biggest surprise for me, though, is the gearbox. Hang on, that surely isn't a world land speed record breaking gearbox, is it? Why not? Well, I mean, look at it. The teeth look really nice, look. Well, I'm not worried about the teeth. Would you... No, you can look at them really closely, look. They look strong and good. So what is that, then? Oh, uh, it's a... Or what was it? A, an aerial from the mid-50s. Hang on a minute. Did he really say aerial? But we're working on a triumph. They shared some designers. Edward Turner and Val Page. Okay. Moved between the two companies early on, yeah. Cos that's... A, no, it's all okay. very similar. Sorry, right. As a layman, OK, I imagine that if you're going to have a Triumph engine, you obviously need a Triumph gearbox. But because it's pre-unit, which basically means the engine and gearbox are separate, you can shoehorn anything on. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, use anything you like. Do you think that this is the basis for something that could be exceptionally good. Yeah, I think it could be good. The million dollar question, though, is will he come with me again? No. I'll give you a list. Please, mate, it won't be the same without you. No, it won't. OK, all right. Well, look, we've got a few months to go, so uh, there's plenty of time for him to change his mind. All right, mate, well, you better get on with it then, eh? Yep. Mm -hmm. Happy days. Well done, Sam. I knew I could rely on you. I'll see myself out. Bye. Yeah, bye, mate. Don't spend too much. I will. 
This is going to be trickier than I thought. Not only do I have to build a new bike from the ground up, but I'm going to have to persuade Sam to leave his beloved workshop behind and come with me and Pete the Restorer to Bonneville. Where's my thinking hat?